tired of losing to stall? These methods will provide you the answers. What is up folks and I'm back with another Pokemon Showdown discussion video. Today I want to discuss stall, playstyle in singles, where the opponent just tends to use bulky Pokemon with annoying movesets and whatever progress you seem to make versus the team, you just heal it all up, mad annoying to deal with. I want to give you guys a quick rundown of tools you can use to destroy stall. Disclaimer that this video doesn't cover everything that you can use to store, destroy stall because stall in between generations shifts here and there and the Pokemon that work shift here and there. But I think these rules are quite general and will help for most stall matchups. We will be focusing mainly on a generation 9 UU perspective but these tools can be translated into the OU tier and below. There will always be Pokemon that are capable of smacking stall and punishing the stall playstyle while still not being bad overall. Before we continue into the video, folks, if you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. We will be doing a lot more of these. We're on the road to 500 subscribers at the moment, so be sure to join us and Keep the channel growing. For those of you who don't know, uh, we're on the Pokemon Showdown website. I will leave a link to Pokemon Showdown down below and if you don't understand what Pokemon Showdown is, what competitive Pokemon singles is, I will leave a link to a video by a one Mr. Jambad who does a very good job of explaining exactly how competitive Pokemon Smogun singles works. So give the video some love and give it a watch if you have no idea what Pokemon Showdown is at all. Without further ado, let's hop into the video. So Stall, the opponent just keeps using bulky Pokemon that never seem to die, and they always come back from the brink of death, and they always find a way to make all your progress and all your moves and all your Pokemon seem invalid. Very annoying to deal with, especially because you could take turns, multiple of them, to make progress, and then have it all be for naught with the click of a healing move. Or a heal bell. Here are some tools you should, you should keep in mind when trying to build a team to not lose to the Storm matchup. I've broken it down into pretty much four categories and in no particular order of importance we'll just go through them one by one. The first thing that we need to understand to break Storm is typing and move pool. There are certain Pokemon in every tier that have a very good matchup versus Storm based on their move pool and their typing. In the UU tier Ogapon Cornerstone has a great matchup against most stall Pokemon, most bulky Pokemon. If we had to go down the tier of the UU tier, assuming that you could easily get a plus two attack stat, a Loma Mola has to run in fear of, maybe of, I, of Power Whoop, Amoongus has to run from Rock Cudgel, Cresselia gets twig killed by a plus two Rock Cudgel, Don Fan has to run from, I, from Power Whoop, Garchomp, the thing learns play rough if you have the right moves. Udra, this thing has low kick, plus two low kick is going to do a number to, to Udra. Incineroar, on some rare stall teams, even though it's not a stall Pokemon. Ivy, Ivy Cudgel, Weezing has to fear the Ivy Cudgel, Zapdos has to fear the Ivy Cudgel, Tornado Therian has to fear the Ivy Cudgel and doesn't want to kill. Sloking has to fear the Power Whip, Rotom Wash has to fear the Power Whip, Epowdon has to fear the Power Whip, Garganacle has to fear the Power Whip, Gaston has to fear the Power Whoop. Underwear Quagsire, which is not in the tier, let me get to it. Underwear Quagsire has to fear the Power Whoop. Mandibuzz has to fear the Power Whoop. A lot of top and common stall Pokemon have to fear Ogapon Cornerstone's natural offensive typing, and they have to fear Ogapon's high base power moves. Look at most of these stall teams that I built. Plus two Ogapon with Ivy Kajal. It's going to do a number on a majority of the team. Of course, one Pokemon can't carry the team on its shoulders. At least not always. At least not on the regular as well. But having good typing versus majority of the store Pokemon, along with side A, move pool that allows you to hit most of those store Pokemon, is a very good start to disrupt store. Most store Pokemon fall to Ogapon from UU. The second way, I've got two examples here, is to just smack them hard. I've got examples of Azumarill with Choice Band, Huge Power, which has an attack set of 654, which is almost a 2 EK on many defensive staples on store. And if you're especially defensive, good luck to you. 
The thing about stall is that they are most likely slower than you. And even if they are not slower than you, they will at least not be eating you back for a ton of damage. Pokemon with extremely high attack stats, like Ursa Luna and Azumarill, can break underwear, can break majority of stall Pokemon, provided your prediction game is on point. So using reliable Pokemon with extremely high attack stats, they don't have to be choice locked. Hence, I used the example of Ursa Luna, the Sunshine Bear, in UU. Looking at this example of a common soul team, who's switching into Ursa Luna's facade and wanted KOing back in return? Nobody. Nobody's doing that. So using Pokemon with, with sky high attack stats and high base power moves once again is a very good method to destroy store. One other method that I think is quite handy in destroying store is hitting the opponents from both sides of the spectrum with the same Pokemon. And that could be if you used mixed attacking stats by splitting your IVs and EVs. Or you can use certain moves like Keldeo's Secret Sword, which does damage based on the target's defense and not the HP. So a Blissey looking toward you on the special side is going to get smacked to the right. And a Garganaka looking toward you on the physical side is going to get smacked to the pump on the left. Using an attacker with Using an attacker that can attack from both sides of the spectrum is a handy tool in dismantling a stall team. The final method I want to talk about in how to destroy stall is to just simply break the stall. To stall you, an opponent needs a few tools. They need to be able to heal, they need to be able to do passive damage, and they need to have long-term survivability, like having heavy-duty boots to block hazards, or Pokemon that's immune to toxic, or burn and doesn't get affected by burn, or hazards. Breaking the stall with moves taunt, giving you ample opportunity to shrug off their weak hits and set up the game to whatever pace you desire. Taunt them, get three spikes on the floor, get out of there. Or taunt again and then get out of there. Into one of your hard hitting threats. Taunt them and then attack them. Or taunt them and set up alongside them. Taunt them and then substitute. While they can't even break your substitute due to their weak attacks. Those are all tools you can use. I know I said I only had about four tricks you could use, but one more that I thought of on the fly. Use Pokemon that do not care much for passive damage. Gold's biggest tool to overwhelm the opponents, slowly but surely, is to rely on passive damage. Hazards, status, and consistent damage in moves like Seismic Toss and Nightshade. Pokemon with abilities such as Magic Guard or Uniclus and have a field day of store due to their bulk, due to their ability to resist passive damage and not take much damage from common moves in return, especially after they set up their own moves. So yeah, and there you have it folks. A very quick, I believe instructive video to set yourself en route on how to dismantle store. There are a couple things we did not cover that are not extremely common, such as how to deal with ditto in store which we can cover at a later time if this video gets some love. If people enjoy the content, I will understand so and provide further tips and tricks. So if you do enjoy the video, folks, nonetheless, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. We will be doing a lot more of these. Until next time, folks, we'll be returning up. Thanks for watching.